Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to Man of Madon, which we all have been psyched for for like a year now, was it, since it was announced? So it's finally been released, it's very similar to Until Dawn, if any of you guys have played that, so it's one of the games where your choices matter, like actually matter, unlike some other choice-based games that we know. These choices result in people either living or dying, so I am so psyched and so nervous to play this. So I have played Until Dawn before, not on the channel, but I'm hoping to maybe do it one day. So yeah, I'm super psyched for this game. Super nervous because I think everybody is gonna die, you guys. I really do think. I'm probably gonna, everyone's gonna die. I'm gonna kill everyone off. Not on purpose, but it's just, it's gonna happen. I am not any good at QTEs or anything like that. So I'm gonna be playing through on my own for the first time. And then the second time playing through with my friend, because I've actually already played the first 45 minutes or so with my friend, before thinking actually the first playthrough I want to do on my own, then with my friend, and then maybe the online mode with somebody else if I fancy doing another playthrough. But yeah, this is going to be a completely blind playthrough of just me at first, for the first time. And I'm so scared that I can't even start the game. I don't want to, it's so creepy looking, even the main menu screen is just freaking me out. It, it just, ugh, games like this, it's like worse than Resident Evil to me. Like I know it's not even that scary, it's just literally a choice based game, there's not even much I have to do, but they just still, they still manage to freak me out quite a lot. Let's get into it guys. So, play alone. Oh god. Oh god, uh, yeah, new story. What happened to my save from the other day? With my friend that I started. Please tell me that isn't gone. But yeah, so I've already played the first 45 minutes or so. But oh god, oh god, everyone is so screwed. Oh god, because one of the things that made me nervous is my friend who I was playing through with isn't um, good with games. She's not used to the controller, she's not used to where the buttons are. So everyone was probably pretty much gonna die and I thought for the first playthrough it should be my decisions and my consequences and rather than playing it with my friend and everybody dying without there even being a question or a chance, you know? Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. How long have they been sat there, though? They only just noticed her. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have a question? Okay, tell me about my son. Will I be rich? Tell me uh, about my son. I guess son. I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he going to grow up all right? Things going to work out for him? Dragon tile or bamboo tile? I want to click the dragon tile, but I feel like that could be dangerous. You know, dragons and danger and shit. But bamboo's cute. You know, pandas eat bamboo. It's kind of adorable. Let's go for bamboo. That's what I did with my friend as well when we played as Joe. Chose the bamboo. I'm pretty much making the same choices that I did with my friend. 
Um, yeah, hold on to you. It oh, shit. It looks like a fish? Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. I was not any good at this. When I played it with my friend. I'm so slow. I hate using the right analog stick, it makes me really uncomfortable. Which is probably why they did it. I'm way less experienced. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Shh. You're making me lose concentration, girl. See, this is when I start to suck. <clears throat> it's these ones that I hate. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Why am I in this Hey, Chuck, we better get <sighs> back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. <sighs> I didn't manage to do it when I played it the other day. It's the aiming ones. I hate them. I hate them. They can't be good. Why do they have skulls on and crap though? Is there really any need to punch him though? I don't think there was any need for that. I have to keep checking that my camera's still recording. Ooh. Right, who are we gonna play as? Forgot what game I was playing for a sec and I started to get all calm and now I'm like fuck this shit
my window. I'm nervous, the camera's gonna turn off because I don't have much battery. Uh, wait. So what was that? Is that what they actually did to us? Or was it a dream? Two pups came back soon. So this is a sign that we were talking about, but what? What just happened? Oh. Lots of traits and stuff. What the hell? We're good. We're good. We're strong. We can do this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry guys, it's just that my battery's low on my camera and the other battery's charging and both of them are quite low and I'm just... I'm unsure how long it's gonna last. Who the fuck is it? Uh, oh, I don't like how he's got one eye open and one eye closed. Nope. It really freaks me out. Can we go through? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm being forced this way. I'd say it's quiet, but I don't really want it to get any louder. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Oh, just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Damn right, something's wrong. I don't want to move. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Fuck, I hate this. I hate this new mechanic. Okay. Here we go. We're good. How has he not seen us? running away from like what has he seen at this point we don't know what is going on is that still what recording yeah sorry guys I just have to keep checking oh that's where we were hiding you can't go there god I'm so scared something's gonna turn off What was that? <laughs> what was what? Ah, <laughs> uh, camera's died. <sighs> this battery's about to die as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. <laughs> I had to swap cameras earlier. Oh god. Okay, not that way. This is my problem. I've got one that overheats. Hey, one that's fine, but the yeah. batteries are just dead. And one that I can charge while recording. But it's shit quality. All right, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> Fuck no. Or not. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's the headphones, I think. I had little Apple earphones in the other day. And now I've got these big proper chunky headphones on. But the real immersion starts. Oh 
god, this is a nightmare. Can I ever just have one video without something going wrong? Hmm. God damn, another stiff? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. I don't like the stairs. Uh, yeah, so sorry about the camera mess. It's gonna be a huge mess. Is that even... Oh god, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, hold L1 to walk faster. What's this way, though? Uh, anything? So, uh... No. Is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Greg look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. Everyone's fucking dead. I should think you'd be a little bit worried, you know? Foobar and then some. I, I knew these jump scares are coming and they're still. Charlie, get over here. Here he comes. Bruh. <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? Hey, come here. Whoa, don't do this to me. How did Charlie? When did he get there though? He was behind us, wasn't he? <laughs> okay, that's worse with headphones in. It makes it sound like he's running around your head. No, no, no. Well, that's the end of the game, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize the sounds are so much worse. The sounds are so much worse. Now I'm playing with my headphones on instead of tiny little earbuds. Oh. Okay, we're still recording. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep checking. I thought something came into my room then. I don't like this, man. Oh, no. 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 Oh, makes me 
enough for this little cross. I didn't think it was gonna save you, mate, to be fair. My garage door is open and I'm so scared that something's gonna come out of it. Like, there's just this door that just leads into pitch black nothingness. And I feel like something's gonna pop out. Something I didn't notice as well when I was playing with my friend is that this is the same intro as they use in Until Dawn, the uh, O oh Death song, but it's a different version. It's like a, a rock version. I hate that. It reminds me of a Slipknot video. I like this version. Please say there's not creepy children and didn't like the ring. Like that girl just then, because game gets put down. Game gets thrown in the garbage, if, if that's the case. Something about him makes me feel so safe and warm though. Even though he's just the curator, like, I think he's just the guy that you talk to, like the therapist from Until Dawn. But something about him just makes me feel so much safer. Even though we are not safe at all. See, look at his little warm, lovely face. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still. None of us want for it to come too soon, do we? No. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's hint. one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Like the totems and until dawn. them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. 
Please don't leave me. Please. Tell me what to do. No. <laughs> no. No. I'm so, I'm so not ready to start this. <gasps> Too late. Too late. So sorry about the camera again, guys. It's a pain in the butt -ucks. Brad, witty, Alex's brother, innocent. Good, I like witty. Witty and innocence are good. Alex, motivated, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. Why is he insecure? I mean, Think we got enough? he looked in the mirror. If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, I want to give yeah. context I mean, next time. Are you time. serious who came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Insecure, it's embarrassing, resentful, I had to work. It's... It's what? We don't want to be it's resentful. My brother. brother. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Uh, he's going to be rude to yeah. us, so next choice we get, we'd be rude to him. Like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Accusator, a cat, no mamala, or an easy. Um, uh, yeah. Tag along? Seriously? However you pronounce that, I can't remember. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry, I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Cynical, it's been two weeks. Empathetic must be tough. Um, let's be yeah, empathetic. He apologized. No worries, man. He apologized. Huh? He's <laughs> yep. been really snappy, right but... What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. He's not even there yet. He's in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Relationship updated. So let's have a look. So I think it's gone up. So that's good. Cool. Um, yeah, Alex and Brad. Brad was offended. He's considered a tag along. Brad felt insecure. After Alex said he's embarrassed of him. Shit. <laughs> Had two negative things already. <laughs> it's hey. literally just started. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How old are they? I don't they? know what's the right thing to do. I don't actually know. Sentimental, go with your gut, or cautious, give it some thought. Well, both. If it's right, you'll know. Fuck. Uh, Brad told Alex to follow his gut. Proposal? Proposal for what? Hey! Excited, Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. Conrad, foolhardy, Julia's brother, relaxed. Mm -mm. Julia didn't strike me as the, uh, oh, the reckless type. Sorry. When I first Connie, saw her picture, I thought Alex. she'd be a pushover, hey. but... What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> Want to crack the cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. <laughs> I was just listening to their conversation in the background. Uh, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, cool. 
Even though he gets seasick. I'm just listening to them in the background. She goes, did you miss me? And he goes, every second. And she goes, that's a lot of seconds, buddy. I would have said minutes. Right, so it's gone up with Conrad. Conrad liked that Brad had a beer with him. Okay, good. Traits updated. Relaxed. <laughs> I thought he would have felt more apprehensive because right we get seasick. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. I like the cut of your jib. You ever do any diving before? <laughs> Never. All the time. Never. Um, Be no, truthful. Actually. Never, Never done been it before. Water virgin. Nice. And it's not a problem. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Even more, Brad told the truth about his previous diving experiences. Of which there are none. <laughs> he reminds me of Barney from How I Met Your Mother. Impatient Fliss, captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous. I like Fliss. I like the look of Fliss from what I've seen so far. I invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... we already have. So is everybody on board and ready to go? Guys, talk, uh, communicate. You're selling. I'm buying. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Jesus, she literally just climbed onto the boat two seconds ago and he's flirting with her already. Sorry about the camera again, guys, but it wouldn't be an oddly upload if I didn't have something go wrong. <sighs> this battery is about to die now as well. And the other one's not uh, charged. Get it all out. I don't yeah. know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Fuck. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. This is why we shouldn't have drank, but yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> what? Oh, what? What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Optimistic Brad did his homework. Frustrated Brad was so sure. Mm, we trust Brad him, he's our his brother. Work. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. <sighs> yeah, um, she's not gonna have liked us. Oh, Fliss agreed with Alex. What? Did she? What you got? <laughs> Did she? When? She wants to take us someplace else. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh... Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this <laughs> the right way? Well, technically. Annoyed, who cares? Disappointed, can't dive. Mm, disappointed. Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. Me. As long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? <sighs> Untouched? She just doesn't give two shits at all. She was like, I can't wait to be the first one down there. Um, Julia's gonna up. Um, I mean, Julia already likes us anyway, doesn't she? She's our girlfriend. I wonder if you can break them up. The water few... I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right -o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. He 
Who are we right now? Alex? Okay. Hello? Do I find anything? Like, is there anything here? Uh, uh, what's that? What are you? Oh, it's a boy, isn't it? I remember. I don't think there is anything. I bet there is and I've missed it. It's probably like a trophy or something. Um, should we talk to Conrad? Hello. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Okay. I don't understand what any of this means, but, uh, yeah. So that's where we're going. All right, cool. I think we're done. I don't think I need to look at any more pictures of it. <laughs> I mean, unless there's like something in the pictures that I'm supposed to notice. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hey, Julia. Almost got the gear good to go. Concerned, thanks for paying. Interested, need a hand? Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. You, like, she can't hit you. Um, play cool for now, making a fortune on this trip. Supportive or stern? Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. I don't want to encourage her. Like, I don't, I don't like her behavior. It's not nice. Julia didn't like Alex being stirred with her. Yeah, well, we didn't like you being a little princess, so... I just felt like putting you in your place a little bit. What is it? It was 29 degrees. Uh, I'd die. No. Being a redhead. Really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Sorry. Can we not talk to her? Yeah, this is uh, something I remember noticing when I played the beginning this bit with my friends. Is, yeah, we noticed that this doesn't look real. He says the instructor, the instructor's spelt wrong. Um, and Federation is spelt wrong. The, I think her name's even spelt wrong. Like, is her name Felicity and that's why she's called Fliss? But that's just like fell sight. And um, what else was spelt wrong? Oh yeah, the gap between the N and the A in name, full name. Height spelt wrong, numbers spelt wrong in the diver number. Um, and the diver number is birthday. That's not even a number. But So this doesn't look legit, which scares me a little bit. Which is weird, because she seems so professional and all that. Why? Who are you? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. See what I mean? Um, polite, forceful. Uh, polite. Yeah. Which is the sorry captain. About before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Self-assured, dived a couple of wrecks, suspicious, fake credentials. Let's not mention it, we can use it as ammo later expert, maybe. But, you know, experienced. If this is your first Although I am interested in knowing. Then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. I want to know what he would have said for fake credentials. I don't think that was an option when I played this with my friend. Be illegal and immoral. 
pompous, I get it. How much? Or belligerent? Who's gonna know? Camera's turned off. Um, say nothing. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. But she got fake credentials. I kind of wish I'd mentioned it now. <sighs> Does he say anything else? Eye colours, hair colours. Alright, oh, it does say her eye colour and hair colour. I thought it didn't. Oh, I want to mention it. That suspicious look. <laughs> um, wait. No, no, no. What are you doing? Can we talk to her again? I don't remember that being an option before. Because I think I checked her credentials after talking to her. Huh. What am I looking at here? That doesn't look too bad. So we've got our first premonition. High and dry. Which is the same as the totems in Until Dawn. But it didn't look that bad. It was just him waking up on the boat, wasn't it? No, 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 don't go up. No, go back down. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gotta go talk to your brother. No. Bad. Um. Okay, what else is there down here? Can I not? Hello? Oh, there you go. Um, I swear there was a cupboard here that you can look in. That we didn't get to look in last time. When I played with my mate. But it seems to be gone now. Um, that was a bathroom, I think. Maybe we just can't go in yet? Oh, there's Julia's I'm not stuff. Sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Shroud of Innocence, a must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Is that a real book? Because, I mean, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Is that a real book, guys? Does anybody know? Cool. What's up? Hey, How buddy. Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Brewski. Sympathetic, don't worry. Stern, you should know better. He was just hey, trying to fit in. All part of the adventure. I'm not gonna let him Sorry get mad. Sorry putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Which is never. Okay, has he gone up? He is loving us at the moment. I think that's pretty much it. I hope. Anything else to do? Hey. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Playful, looking good. Appreciate. Thanks for sending me straight. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay. You said my whole life straight, is, girl. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. Of course. Hey, Connie. Connie. It's cute. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Take, no take. You just don't give what are they? Are those two going in or what? I know the way it's terminable, but soon. <laughs> Spade, bearing updated. Alex took the bang stick. I got the bang stick. What, what, what is, is that? that about you? Ha ha. You ever have to use one? <laughs> On a shark? Nope. How has it been updated? Okay. Julia or take? Well, we've already spoke to her. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo.
I'm so nervous. I just want the whole game to be like this. Just like super dive simulator and something happy. Ooh. Something nice. Oh, you good? More or less. <sighs> it's the music. She been flissing so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, Aren't we? Souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That chief. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than. Oh I wow! It looks tiny in the pictures. Yeah. Fuck. It's pretty intact too. We're like it's flies like compared to it. Find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. There was a way in at the wing, wasn't there? Fliss, we're playing as Fliss. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Relaxed, sure, why not? Disapproving, pass, I need to focus. I need to focus. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Subdued. It's a long story. Self assured. Don't ask a lady about her money. It's rude. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sorry guys, got something on my eye. Impressed, it would be my pleasure. Uninterested, sorry, got enough on my plate. Uh, cool. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. I thought that was my camera that turned uh, yeah. off. Did he like us? Fliss didn't appreciate Conrad flirting with her. Fliss told Conrad she'd be happy to help him buy a boat. Okay, so she's guarded. Deceitful. <sighs> I like Fliss. <laughs> um, did she say anything about her fake credentials? No? Fuck. She totally fake. Yeah, we'll talk to you in a sec, Conrad. There's just probably other stuff we can do. Hello, what are you? Oh, binoculars again. Do we need these? Is there anything you can even see? Like, is there anything to look at? What is the point of them? If there's nothing. Should we go check on Brad? I know I can press the little machine, but I think that's what we're meant to do to, con to continue with the story, so. Anything extra we can do? There's a drawer. There you go, there's the drawer. No, no, no. Girl. Hello, girl. I didn't get to read it. <laughs> Let me read it. Dive trip 5,000 quid. Hotel tours 2,400. Eddie's fishing trip 500. Sell laptop 600. Total for month 8,500. Call bank, cancel cell phone. Okay, so dear miss, however you pronounce her last name. Yeah, that's how you spell her name, Felicity. This letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a remainder of 24,783 with a sum of 3,481 payable by 1st of August. This amount has been overdue since that date and you appear to have ignored to have ignored multiple requests for payment or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt unless the outstanding amount 3481 pound is received by 30th of August 2019 we will have no choice but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral namely the marine vessel the duke of milan please act accordingly yours sincerely charles sarenstein love 
So your so the Duke of Milan is our collateral for the loan. Fuck. So we ain't, that's eight thousand pound. That's good, isn't it? Doesn't she have three thousand four hundred and eighty one left? Fuck. What shady shit are you doing, girl? I wish she could go in, but Alex can't. Why do I keep these around? <laughs> Stuff always happens when I have these. Why do I have them? Uh, not gonna go to the loop. Um. How come nobody else seems to have any stuff but Julia? Is she gonna steal anything? No. I don't think so, <laughs> it'd be too obvious. I wonder if that made any difference though. It's Alex. Going. Knocked out by cold frost. Uh, Brad. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Uh, disapproving. Go easy on the booze. Hey, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. <laughs> overdo <laughs> it. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Concerned. Hope they know what they're doing. Probing. What do you know? What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Skeptical, how'd you figure it out? Impressed, what got you into World War II? Impressed, what got you it's into a bit World better. War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Unsettled. Hope they respect the site. Interested. You can use those old stories. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help. Oh. Oh, we didn't even get to talk to hey, Conrad. Chris. Look, there's a boat. I wonder why it cuts like that. Literally didn't even get to finish the speech. What's that about? Uneasy, that's not the Coast Guard. Dismissive fishing boat. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Confident, be quiet and let me handle it. Worried, this feels off. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm we gotta um, keep our reputation. Oh, what have we got, Conrad? And so uh, you be quiet and let changed. me handle it. You got that? Why does it say relationship changed? With who? Angry, get out of here. Worried, we've got divers. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. See, that's stupid that that was their own fault. That was literally their own fault. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can yeah, because you got close. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. What All is he right, doing? You guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. <laughs> I've seen him do that, but like, why, you know, in the, what I played through with my friends, we got about this far, but why? Why would you chuck it all in the water? I don't care how rich you are. Uh... But what annoys me though is that they got too close themselves. Like they could see the boy, they could see the boat. They shouldn't have drove into the boy then, should they? It's not our fault. We shouldn't have to pay them or anything. That's their own damage that they've caused. The turret. We can get in through Probably there. like pirates or something. 
They're trying to claim insurance. I didn't think there'd be a cutie either. I needed to check that my camera wasn't gonna turn off. Fuck, 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 fuck. Holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? So that's her feeling sick. I think. Right, just gotta check that my camera's not gonna turn off. Okay. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Uh, flippant, live a little concerned. Maybe it's kinda dangerous. Yeah, let's not fucking do that. Maybe it is kinda dangerous. No, thank you. What did it do? Okay, cool. Oh, I'm mad about the QTE and she's damaged her leg. How that's gonna affect anything. <laughs> Fuck this camera, guys. <sighs> Look what it's done. What is it? Secret found. A shell on the wrecked B29. Hmm. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Mm -mm, this is so much worse playing it on your own. Oh. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb wrap to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? A lifeboat is missing. It had been launched during the plane's mission. Let's see what else we can find. Music. Good God. Don't touch him. Ugh. Noise. Ugh. He's holding something. Nothing on it. Can we keep it? No. Uh. What the hell happened here? When we'll look at things, they knew they were goners. There's something in my fucking eye now. There's always gotta be something. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. <sighs> Bearing updated for the bank stick. Okay. Okay, I remember this. I remember this. <laughs> I think I wet my wetsuit. My life gives you lemons. <laughs> <sighs> You'll see me jump way more at that <laughs> when pilot, I upload the part that I did with my friend. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. What else we got? Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I want to move it? <sighs> Sexual. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Yeah, I'd suggest getting out now. <sighs> Wait. Is there anything else, or is that the same thing? Oh, it's the guy again. I think we just uh, leave now. Unless I want to wreck the ship a little bit more. <laughs> We've already looked at this. Um, it's hard to remember what I've looked at and what's new.
Wait, what's that? What was that? Oh, it's the, uh, oh. never mind. It's the premonition. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, what, what do I do? We've done everything, haven't we? Apparently not. What have I missed? Fuck it. I'm <gasps> just gonna go for it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, I didn't want you to do that. No, I was just investigating it again. No. I did not. Oh, for fuck's sake. I did not give permission to do that. Is she fucking stupid? Oh fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Julia, get the fuck out. What is she doing? I did not want her to do that. <sighs> fuck! No, we were just supposed to leave. We were just supposed to leave. Put everything back on. Fucking go. <sighs> Fuck me, don't double check you things. Something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You I know, now it's gonna have affected our relationship. Uh. Defiant, I know what I'm doing, nonchalant, I was fine. Chill out, I'm fine, see? No problemo. <sighs> Oh, yeah, that was so fucking was worth like it. Rescue plan. Launched from a US base. They were on their way to help out a ship. That's what you get for double checking shit in this game. God, that's me not going back and pressing X on something I've already pressed X on before. We gotta get out of here now. I did not say that I wanted her to, uh, to do that. Uh, Alex took the bang stick. Blah, 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 blah. What could we have used the knife for? I've missed something then. <gasps> oh god, Alex! It's a grey reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Fuck. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but. Then, didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't... I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell, because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? Uh, we almost died? You're shitting me, right? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I... I, I just... I mean, we almost just died! Julia, I'm serious. Loving? Yes. Shocked. I need time to think. I mean, we know nothing about their relationship. Wow. wow. What a goddamn story. <sighs> Julia said yes. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> <laughs> Now get up, guys. <laughs> I wish there was a QTE oh, yeah, to put in the ring go. on. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? It might be good, yeah. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. <laughs> we're coming back up and engaged this couple. And just in time, because we're all gonna die. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm gonna do what I did last time. Uh, my brother's up there. Damn it, you're okay. Just be cautious. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. <sighs> Panicked? Fuck it, I'm going. Reluctant. This is taking too long. Oh my god, this is 
taking too long. This is torture. Which one does that do? The bends. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! And they're fine. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. <laughs> I love how they're just floating. There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Bewildered, why are you paying the ocean? Anxious, why not something with the other boat? So, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is... They were pissed off, all right. Oh, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. And oh we're God, engaged. Guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Bet Fliss is glad she let us go now. Don't be mad at me for failing the QTE, okay? I had to check my camera. No, 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 no. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Mm -hmm. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia. The love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. I don't know him well enough yet. You to let Fliss to make some decisions to face herself like that. On. You're doing well. Fuck yeah. Apart from Julia's got a damaged kneecap now. Oh, it didn't come up as um anything changing though, like any of the bearings when she damaged her knee. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never mm. tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah, detailed. I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for yeah. him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Smith, that's the best last name they can come up with. Cheerful, it does have a nice ring. Assertive, I'll stick with me on it. Cheerful. Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel. Julia Smith. Does seem a bit boring, doesn't it, Smith? So, I guess we should talk about wedding Not that there's anything wrong with the last name Smith, but... Sentimental, let's plan it together. Provocative. Dad can foot the bill. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Reassuring, of course. Aggrieved. Wasn't sure how to respond. Of course, we know absolutely nothing about their relationship, but of course I was gonna say I'm gonna yes, pretend that they're work. completely happy and in I'm love. Happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Adoring, I love you. Playful, so you can walk all over me. I, I want to be playful, but I don't want to hear her say it. It's cute. I love you, Alex. They need to say it. They just got engaged for feck's sake. He's not gonna say Where back. There was much celebration to be had. Shameful. Wait, what? When they talked about it later? Oh, they were both happy. <sighs> I thought I said they weren't happy. I was like, did did you I'll just witness the same you thing I did? Relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. 
So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic what? happens? Excuse me. Disapproving, give it a rest, frustrated. Apologies for my brother. I apologize for your brother. Family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. Mm -hmm. I was just getting them now. More like planning his, uh, his way in. Oh, cute. We've had so many good things with Alex. Uh, Conrad's probably gone down. Oh, nothing. What's gone up with Julia? Is he upset now? Oh, no, wait. That's his, that's her traits. I want to know if we've upset him. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Okay, this would be uh, a perfect time, I think. So, how's it going to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. I'm carrying that around for a while. Okay, I want to see what else it'd say. Um, does it auto-save? Why'd you do it on the dive? I wanted it to be memorable. Just not that what? memorable. What? I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Can I say anything else, guys? Shh. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Oh. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. I don't want to end the part, but... So... We're going okay, to cool. Tomorrow? Um, I'm guessing it auto-saves. I'm hoping it does. Yeah. Didn't even come up with a warning. Right, guys, that's going to have to be the end of that episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what kind of things happen to you guys in your playthrough without too many spoilers. If it's going to be, like, you know, story-specific, then obviously... Please don't spoil it for me. I don't want to be spoiled. But uh, yeah, I mean, I am interested in knowing if you guys make the same choices as I did or whether you went a different path. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hey, yo. <laughs>